Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Final Fantasy Tactics. Nothing, I don't think there's anything in particular that we need to take care of, so let's just move on. This next fight I've had some bad luck with, um, with just stupid guest AI as well as um, some bugs, including getting, knocking someone under the world. Anyway, uh, let's take and the da dancer. Hata no Kokoro. Shun. And who else? Let's go. Let's go, Aria. Oh, wait, that's all I can take. Never mind. So this is our group. <laughs> This could be a bad idea, but we'll see how it goes. There are a few things that Mimes can't mimic, but I don't remember what the list is. I think it's unique class abilities. Obviously they can't do math skill, though math skill is not a, doesn't exist here. Alright, so we caught up with Delita. Duck Aaron can be pretty dangerous because he usually has steel and he'll just do steel heart, which is super annoying. Alright, so we don't have to worry too much about the princess. She can actually hold her own rather well. In fact, it's the annoying part is the fact is she doesn't. She's super strong, but doesn't participate in a lot of the, uh, the fight. Like, she'll eventually, she'll, like, migrate towards the top of the map, and then just sit there. And she'll pretty much just eat up all your ethers. Because what she'll do, her programming, is... So she knows all this. She knows Death Spell 2, Cure, Life, Holy, and Barrier. First thing she'll always do is check to see if she has buffs. If she's missing any buff, including the short duration ones, uh, she will cast M Barrier for her turn. Which will give her um, shell, re-raise, uh, protect, and haste. Haste being the one that drops rather quickly. And then the next thing that the um, the AI will do is we'll generally do holy. And then after that, it'll gobble down one of my ethers. Then proceed to um, run around constantly casting M barrier because haste keeps dropping. And then eventually just kind of gives up and goes up to the top here and just keeps eating ethers and casting M barrier. So yeah, she sometimes will cast life, but gradually she migrates up here, and then she just sits there, which is really annoying when you're relying on her to actually help out. Anyway, so this is our mine. And as you can see, Dark Sword, Steel, HP up, HP restore maintenance. Um, so yeah, dealing with this guy is a bit of a pain. But what I can do is... Um, do what I can against these guys. Uh, this guy has battle skill weapon card, not a big deal. Battle skill weapon card, not a big deal. Also, I don't know what turn order we're going with. Uh, okay, so Aaron's gonna go next. That's fine. Okay, stop stuttering. Give me a moment. Alright, fix itself, never mind. We're just gonna hang out down here. Now, this will be luck base, but Delita may be able to kill one of these guys. He has Crush Punch. There's a 20% chance they'll cause instant death, so that's one less Lancer to deal with. The Lancers can be pretty rough. Um, it varies from anywhere from um, them having things like Counter Flood. They, their Counter Throw actually does a lot of damage. And yeah, they're kind of brutal. Oak. Auto Potion. 
pretty sure that used my auto potion, my potion, that's okay. Can jump. Jump first out. Ow. Uh, mimes will not duplicate songs or dances, at least from what I know. Oh, Magic Man, that's a little annoying. Missed, though, that's good. Oh. Mimes do have counter, but obviously there's a limit as far as range goes. So what I'm going to do here is actually... that way. Alright, my issue here is uh, movement to the side. So the things you have to take into account with mimes is their facing. So, um, I, was, I was hoping I could do a talk skill up here, but I can't. Uh, I can't do Wave Fist either. So yeah, I can't do those. If I go... Here and then go that way. Okay. We'll see if this works. Now one thing I could do is I could do spin fist, which will hit that target, then the mime would do spin fist and hit this target. But I think I want to take my chances with the talk skill. Let's see, how how effective are you? 44%? 55%? Okay, so if I if I cast it to there, it will hit this guy, and then the talk skill from the mime will hit this guy. Unfortunately, you can't duplicate, uh, can't mime, uh, or mimic, uh, M barrier. Oh, the dance doesn't work against people that are asleep. Oh, wow, it does copy, um, it does mimic dances. I think they changed that in the, uh, 1.3, because it doesn't do that in any of the others. Obviously, this, since you're asleep, you can't see the, or hear the dances and songs, so... I guess that's why it's guarded, which is good, because that means it doesn't accidentally wake them up. So, cool. I was not expecting the dance to be mimicked, because I'm pretty sure when I read it about in the vanilla game, it doesn't. Same thing for Bard songs. Now you're awake, but uh, heavily wounded. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alright, I cast an explosion immediately. So, mine's facing this way, so I have to take that into account. Even if my character if my character turns, like to cast a spell, like if I cast a spell this direction, it still counts as casting it forward. So, I have to take all that into account when casting magic. So, what we want to do is cast a spell that goes two forward and one to the right, like so. Not as much damage, unfortunately, for her. It's 
now I have twice the amount of dancing, twice the amount of spells, twice the amount of talk skill. As long as, as long as I take into account how I use my abilities in reference to the mine. You don't, next, you don't necessarily need to plan ahead. Like, you don't need to like go through some crazy te technical you know, masterpiece to get your mime in the right position and stuff like that. I just move my mime wherever and then just... And then just have my characters react accordingly. Because I wasn't sure exactly where I was going to cast my spells and stuff. I just was like, okay, I'll just use... Uh, I'll put my mime here and hope for the best. Um, if your target becomes invalid, um, the mimic will just fail. Um, so she casts like holy, like a bazillion feet, like several spaces in front of her, and several spaces in front of the mime is off the screen. So it's a fa it just it was a fail mimic, which is fine. You do get job points as a mime. Not that there's anything you can learn as a mime. So you still gain job levels as a mime. It just doesn't do anything. And obviously you can't duplicate Stasis, Sword, Crush, Punch, or any holy skills. Alright, not much I can do here, so I'm just going to do this. Punch the air. And then do that. Good, you got stopped. Blah, blah, blah. Death Grand does go next. Um, so what I can do is do Chain Lightning. And if it hadn't worked, uh, my mind would have cast it as well. Like so. And now she's going to eat up all my ethers. And yeah, she is using your items. Now something to note about Mimics using items, as far as I can tell, it doesn't u actually use another item. I, at least from what I like, kind of tried to gather. Alright, that was amazing. That was a really good fight. Got to show off everyone's unique skills. And we of course we of course get Kafkarian's armor if you hadn't already, which we already had. So yeah, pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna go through all this real quick. I believe our um, I believe our dancer can actually learn some new dances, which will be helpful at this point. I mean, the damage is nice, but I would like to have some you know debuffs as well. 
you know, random status effects and all that good stuff. So there you go, that's a mine. It worked rather well. It used all the talk skills. Granted, we kind of rolled pretty good on the sleeps. But I mean, that's usually how status effects work. Alright, <clears throat> let's see what we get. We do have 349 uh, job points. Um, so unless um, someone wants to teach her, want her to learn MP switch, there's not really anything else I want that we really need to get on her. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as an opportunity to go ahead and uh, lower physical attack power. Learn this, which causes random status effects, which is just darkness, confusion, silence, poison, and slow. No sleep, unfortunately, but those are still pretty good. And then dissolution, which lowers uh, magic attack power. So good stuff there. Um, and then for our monk, You try learning Repeating Fist. Though I think I'd rather learn Chakra and Revive at this point. Or Earth Slash, which has a better range. Anyone else that's, uh... Who else did we take with us? Oh, the, all we took was the Hawthorne of Korra as well. Okay, so that is... Oh, actually. You have a wizard. And he can't learn anything yet. Okay. Well, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Final Fantasy Tactics. See you guys later.